Hello, in today's episode, we will take care of the simplest program written in assembler language. It will be a program that will permanently illuminate the lead. In addition to analyzing the code of this very simple program, we will look at the differences that will occur in the implementation of this program by a microcontroller with internal memory and without internal memory. The semiconductor of Atmel at 89S51 will be used as the first microprocessor. Without getting into the details of the microcontroller's construction, the most important fact is its internal flash memory with a capacity of 2 kilobytes. Placed in the TL866 programmer, it waits for programming. The TL866 programmer software has the ability to edit the data buffer. If the system memory is empty, it contains FF in all cells. However, you can change these values manually. The simplest program that ignites the permanent diode connected to the P1.0 port of the microcontroller will contain 5 bytes. C290-020002. We start from the beginning, C2 means CLR which is short of clear. CLR is a command to write the zero value to the bit at the address is specified directly. Now you should know that the individual states of the P1 port this means 8 pins are the individual bits of the P1 register. P1.0, P1.1, P1.2, P1.3, P1.4, P1.5, P1.6, P1.7 means bits of the P1 register. And now each of these bits is one output of the P1 port, and each bit has its own individual address in RAM. P1.0 equals 90, P1.1 equals 91, P1.2 equals 92 etc. So it is the result of writing the zero value to P1.0 bit, mean the output of the microcontroller to which the negative pole, cathode, of the green LED is connected? Well, from the positive pole, anode, side of the green LED, a positive 5 volts potential is connected via the resistor after turning on the power, the microcontroller after connecting the power supply also 5 volts has output to the output ports, so the no potential difference does nothing. However, when you write the zero value on the P1 port on one of its pins, a potential difference will be created on the diode's LEDs, and the current flowing will cause the LED to light. State zero is the output port of the ground potential zero volt. Stop label is just a tag with an address. The label refers to the address. The label is not compiled converted into machine code so if the stop label is in address 0002, the jump to the stop label is interpreted just as a jump to address 0002. The next command is 02. 02 is the command to jump to the address LJMP2 bytes address. Because I want to light only the LED and still make it shine means freeze the system state when the LED is on. You can do this by implementing an infinite loop of jump to the address of this command. If in this case, the order of LJMP is executed in address 0002, giving the address for this jump 0002, we will cause the program to enter a loop that will no longer work out, I mean, it will take care of jumping in the current place, lighting the lead diode earlier. And pass it. C290. CLRP 1.0 lights up the lead. C2 is a command in the address 0000. 90 is the argument, the address of the bit that will be reset, and this operand is located in the address 0001. Stop label, located in the address 0002. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0
jump to address 0002. 02 is the jump order in address 0002. 0002 is the operand for the LJMP order, and these are the two bytes of the address that are located at 0003 and 0004. In this way, the green LED diode was lit using 5 bytes of data of the internal flash memory of the 8089S51 microcontroller. Is it simple?